Welcome to Pimpy's Investment Chat, where we keep investment talk simple. And here's your host, Pimpy. What is going on out there, peeps? All kinds of articles about the exchange rate. And how easy is it to predict that when you see a bunch of articles about the exchange rate, you got a bunch of people out there in YouTube world making claims that this means they're going to change the exchange rate. This is when they're going to do their RI. I keep telling you guys, don't fall for that crap. Could they increase the Iraqi dinar exchange rate? Of course they could. But if you think they're going to do an RI, you're sadly mistaking. RV is possible, but not a RI. And I don't think they're even going to do an RV, to be quite honest with you. I told you there's too many hurdles in front of them. But there is a lot of concern in Iraq about the current exchange rate. And I understand why. Remember, the currency exchange rate really does hamper with their imports. Of course, what you want is more purchasing power. But it's unfortunate when you have Obama in his third term screwing with Iraq. It makes things a little bit harder. Again, all this is is about control, controlling the resources. But there has been a lot of talk about the exchange rate now for months all over. So people keep asking me, in your opinion, Pimpy, are we going to see a change in the exchange rate before the end of the year? I say no. But if we do... If we do, it's not going to be very significant. If anything, you might see it go from 1,320 dinars down to maybe 1,200. Look, it's at least a step in the right direction, and I'll take it. Every time they take a move in that direction, I'll take it. I don't care how small it is, just as long as they're doing something with the current exchange rate. Baby steps, that's fine. Compared to where it's been for the past 20 years. I know a lot of you keep expecting to buy mansions and snort coke off hookers' asses and stuff like that. That's not going to happen, you guys. An RI is not going to happen. I did a live show today, and in there I spoke about what was going on in Iraq. Hopefully you guys caught it. But I'm going to tell you, there's too many other things have to fall into place. One, Iraq can't keep relying on just oil revenue to fund their government. They need other alternatives. We know that Iraq has decided to start dealing in gas. That's another alternative. Okay, that's a good move. It's a good step in the right direction. But agriculture and all of their other exports is where the exchange rate is going to make a difference. So if all of a sudden one year Iraq's budget is X amount of dollars and even like 50% of it comes from oil revenue, then good. It's better than 95%. That's what you want. You want the percentage of oil revenues that support the budget to dwindle. There's other factors as well, but that's definitely one of the biggest ones, okay? So let's get into this. Before we get started, do me a favor and hit the thumbs up button. And if you're not a subscriber, please do so, because when you do, it helps out the channel, and I certainly do appreciate it. You can follow me over on other platforms. I do have a, my own group over on Facebook called Pimby's Investment Chat. Over here, we do talk about gold, silver, cryptocurrencies, as well as foreign currency investments. So head on over here and join us. It's free to do so. In here, I do post updates if I should get on suspension from YouTube or get removed from YouTube and you want to know what happened to me, I'll let you know right here in this group. I can be found on Twitter, MeWe, YouTube, and the cool thing about YouTube, if you come over here and you join and you find my channel, I got videos going back, I believe, a couple years. So if you want to see some older videos that I have on Nisera Jacera, Gold Silver, Cryptos, come on over here and join, look me up, and check out my videos. You can also find me on Odyssey, catch me on Rumble. When I say that the links for all these are down below in the description, some of you don't know what I'm talking about, it's real simple. Just go down to the bottom right here of any of my videos, see this, this is the description. Hit show more, and there are all the links to all the platforms I just spoke about. As I was stating earlier, there are all kinds of articles about the exchange rate. And I knew people were going to use these articles to hype other people up, and <laughs> I keep telling people stay grounded. Does that mean the exchange rate is going to change? Maybe. I doubt it, but maybe. Does it mean it's not going to change? Maybe. We don't know. Anybody telling you otherwise is full of crap. Parliamentary hosting of governor of the Central Bank of Iraq regarding the dollar exchange rate. Parliamentary just wants to know what the heck is going on. See, the committee member told the news that the committee will host this week the governor of the Central Bank of Iraq, al Alaq and the general directors of the bank to find out the reasons for the rise and fall in the dollar exchange rate in the parallel market and who is the party concerned 
with implementing the reform packages launched by the central bank. All that is, is just the U.S. screwing with Iraq. That's all it is. I told you it's about control. And what they want is the resources that Iraq has. They have more than just oil there. He pointed out that the instability of the dollar exchange rate has caused an economic problem. And there is no clear policy for the central bank. Stressing that the government must implement what the bank wants through the reform packages it launched. And therefore, controlling the exchange rate is a shared responsibility between the central bank and the government agencies, especially those concerned with import and customs ports. It was pointed out that hosting the bank's governor will address the economic crisis, the rise and fall of the dollar, and the agreements the bank signed with the U.S. Federal Reserve and the World Bank. The exchange rate of the U.S. dollars have witnessed an upward increase against the Iraqi dinar for several months. It has reached a peak this month when the price was 1,655 dinars to $1. That's crazy. That's really, really out of whack. The difference in price is almost 40% of the current rate. Iraq can't keep dealing with this. This is really going to hurt them economically. So once again, my recommendation, not that it matters, but I'll tell you, they need to 100% de-dollarize. And I mean all markets with stiff penalties. We understand that they have to do it when they're doing sales of oil, but everything else, stiff penalties, nobody else is allowed to use U.S. dollars. I wouldn't even sell them to the locals. There's always going to be a black market there. You have countries under sanctions like Iran, Turkey, Syria, all under sanctions by the United States, and they want U.S. dollars. So this is a poor predicament that Iraq is in, but they need to do something. I just don't see them making any kind of compromises with O'Biden. It's just not going to happen. Well, now, here we go. Does Washington have a hand in a dollar crisis? And what is the validity of Baghdad's intentions to print a new currency? Parliament Finance Answers. Now, I spoke about this. I told you. If Iraq cannot account for a big chunk of the money that was taken from them, there's no way in heck you're going to see an RI or any major jump in the exchange rate. Because you could be enriching a terrorist organization or a country like Iran who's sending money to terrorist groups, they have taken a lot of Iraq's dinars in trade a couple years ago. That was the thing. So I just don't see that happening. I know that ISIS took a huge chunk of their money, but they found most of it, by the way. But there's still a lot outstanding. And no, this isn't all doom and gloom. I'm just saying we got to be prepared. When they say we're going to make a shift, we have to be able to make the shift as well. Don't be surprised if exchange companies don't try to screw us over by charging us money to exchange our old dinars for the new ones. So we have to find a way to do it without having to pay any fees. My guess is we need to find out what banks out there are dealing with the Iraqi currencies. I believe Chase is. I'll look it up and let you guys know. And then make the exchange through them one way or another. So, you know, we'll, we'll find a way. Now, having said that, if Iraq is talking about a new currency, this is actually surprising news. It's not so much that bad actors might have ended up with the money. But remember, I told you, if Iraq is going to make a major change in their exchange rate, then don't be surprised if at the same time they change the currency. So they're talking about a possible change of currency. That's interesting. Parliamentary Finance Committee denied the government's intentions to print a new local currency while revealing the influence exerted by the U.S. Federal Bank on the continuation of the dollar crisis. So they talked about the federal government intentions to print new local transactions has no truth at all. The Iraqi dinar has a cover and bonds of approximately $150 billion. Addressing the discrepancy in the dollar exchange rate does not happen by printing new currency, but rather through thoughtful steps that should be implemented by all concerned parties. He pointed out that the central bank covered the needs of merchants at the official price of 1,320 dinars for every dollar. And the reason for the disparity is the black market. This influences exercised by the U.S. Federal Bank to maintain this crisis for political purpose in Iraq. So see right there, they're telling you that what they're doing with the exchange rate and their currency is more political than anything else. It's more about control. They go around and say, oh, the poor Iraqi people, they don't give a crap about the poor Iraqi people. They don't even care about their own citizens. So what do you mean poor Iraqi people? Until the people stand up and, and demand change, it's not going to happen. So having said that, 
I still think over the next couple, three years, you're going to see the dinar continue to go up in increments. But you're not going to see any real major changes until we get uh, the Biden administration out of the way and definitely get off sanctions. That's one thing. We also want to look for alternatives to revenue generating other than oil. I mean, there's again, you guys, there's a lot of steps, but Iraq has taken those steps. It's just it appears slower to a lot of people than it should be only because a lot of people have been told all kinds of crap that should happen overnight and poof, a one comes out the butt. You know the story. On this channel, we stay grounded, and I said it many times before, there are other obstacles, but at least Iraq is heading in the right direction. Iraq 2050, an article by the Prime Minister, Al Sadini. Now, I'll leave the link, and you can go read this whole thing for yourself, but I do want to get down to a couple of points on us. It said the resounding fall of the regime, which occurred on days like this 20 years ago, was the result of prolonged decades of oppression, tyranny, mismanagement, disdain for the country's capability, and disdain for the Iraqi human being and his dignity. It was the result of wild imagination and attempts at transgression and aggression internally and externally, which is what the United States is going through. Instead of the country embarking on a much delayed renaissance it had been waiting for, it fell into the series of events and problems that countries usually face after emerging from the grip of reckless authoritarian regime into a space of freedom and uncontrollability that sometimes reached the point of chaos. It said these circumstances took a lot of time and destroyed many people's hopes for freedom, salvation, and progress. Today we stand on the threshold of new phase that we seek to usher the goodness and prosperity, and we are working diligently on that. And then you scroll down here and you're going to see what I was talking about. We urgently need to diversify sources of income and not rely on oil revenues as almost the only source to cover budget expenditures. There must be alternatives such as activating agriculture, industry, tourism, trade, and others. Iraq's strategic location, depth, historical legacy, regional weight, abundance of resources, and influence on the world's economy all give it the ability to play a major role in commensurate with its true size and its good relations with brotherly and friendly countries have paved the way for it to build bilateral and multilateral partnerships with many countries, countries of the world, and we still have many of these relationships ahead of us. So it is a good article. It is very motivating. And, you know, I believe Al Sudini is trying to do what's best for the Iraqi people, which is uh, something that hasn't been done in quite some time. I believed Al Kadimi was really there to do something good for the Iraqi people as well. God be with them because I believe they're still trying to arrest that guy. So that's what I keep saying. I know I keep saying be patient. People are like, man, I've been holding this stuff for 20 years. I get it. But even you have to admit that things are a lot different where Iraq is today than where it was even two years ago or even three years ago. So Iraq raises interest rates to 7.5 and the Economic Council is considering increasing the rate. So this is what I'm talking about. You might want to think about holding your money over in Iraq. <laughs> Look what the interest rate is, 7.5%. So the governor of the bank... Al Alok revealed on Monday to raise the interest rate for the amounts deposited in banks to 7.5% to encourage citizens to deposit their amounts in banks and to withdraw the cash mass outside of banks. So you remember when back in the olden days you used to put your money in savings or put your money in the bank account and they used to pay you to have your money in there. That's what Iraq's doing. They're paying their citizens 7.5%, I'm guessing annually, for all the money that they hold in there. That's phenomenal, man. So you might want to consider uh, moving money into a savings account over there in Iraq and just get 7.5% interest. I don't think there's anything else out there that got that kind of return, not even the CDs or money markets. So the council hosted, according to the statement to the news, the chairman of the finance committee, the Iraq Council on Representatives, and a number of committee members to discuss dollar exchange rates in the Iraqi markets. The governor of the central bank, al Alag gave a detailed explanation of the task and objectives of the central bank and monetary policy in Iraq. Alok pointed out that the exchange rate depends mainly on imports, not on local production, and that the exchange rate in Iraq has particularities of its association with the price of oil, as it is the largest source of providing hard currency. That needs to change. He explained that many factors affect the exchange rate, 
the most important of which is the leakage of the dollars to neighboring countries, internal dealing in local markets other than the national currency, as well as a lack of full control over the ports and smuggling. The level of inflation has decreased significantly and the goods that enter officially are experiencing price stability because imports are covered by the official price. So yeah, that would be nice to be able to deposit your money and get 7.5% back annually. But I wanted to go back up here to the top because Alcidini says something that really caught my attention that I like. These days are the 20th anniversary of the fall of the former dictatorial regime with all the pain and tragedies it brought, as well as hopes for start, as well as hopes for salvation from oppression and injustice, and a move towards emancipation and prosperity. Emancipation from who? The United States controlling them like they do, and I support that as well. So, anyways, you guys, we know as usual, lots to talk about. The exchange rate is in the news. Are they going to make a major move? No. I do think it's interesting that there are rumors going around about a new currency. So if that happens, we'll dig into it. And I say we'll because there's other YouTubers out there that will do the same thing, you hope. But we'll dig into it and then uh, let you know what you need to know. My goal would be not to pay any fees. I'd rather take my currency and exchange it at a bank straight across. But we'll see if that's even possible. Anyways, that's it for now. I look forward to your comments and I will get back at you later. I am out.